is about the Schonson Karte, which is also a part of the law called Fachkraft Einwanderungsgesetz, or known in English as the Skilled Workers Immigration Act. Without further ado, let's get into this law. This law is going to come into effect from March 2024, and it's mainly for skilled workers to have a smooth and less bureaucratic, less stressful transition in Germany. Also, it's going to favor job seekers, and that is why we're going to talk about the Schonson Karte. It is for the job seekers, and also we're going to talk about the university degree holders, also those who have studied in Germany or outside Germany. So let's get into it. For those who have skilled professions or who are skilled workers, so you are a qualified professional. A qualified professional is one who has completed a vocational training that is either recognized in his country or in Germany. Now, this recognition is one thing that is going to change from March 2024. That is that before, the recognition had to be both in Germany and in your home country. But now, it is enough if your vocational skill was completed in your home country and recognized in your home country. You don't have to wait to be recognized by Germany before moving to Germany. So, you have at least two years of experience in your field and you have completed your training in your home country, you can start your immigration process to Germany. With this, you can start looking for a job in Germany. And if you work together with the employer, you can then start working on the recognition in Germany if you so wish. But then both of you have to go into a recognition partnership and your employer has to also play a part in having the recognition done. A new thing is also that industries that are looking for people to work for them in that industry can also have people who are qualified professional but in other fields apply for that job and then start working in that job for up to eight months so that is a good thing because now you don't have to match your professional or your profession with the job that you're going to do but the employer just has to be able has to see that you are going to fit the job role and then employ you and your salary threshold must meet the standard that has been set by the law or your employer has to adhere to the, the collective agreements, being the Tarif Vereinbarung. So now let's get to the degree holders. If you are a degree holder, you studied in Germany or outside of Germany. If you have studied in Germany for the blue card, if you remember the blue card, I have a video on that also on my YouTube channel. You can go check it out. But now I'm going to have to update it because it has changed. For the blue card before, you would have to have a job within your field of study. So if you studied accounting, you have to get a job in accounting, right? But now it's different. You might have studied accounting, but you have a niche for IT, uh, for IT and you didn't study IT, but you're good at it. Now you can find a job in that field, in, in the field of IT and work there without even having a university degree in that course. That is another thing that is new and also going to make things easier. And this is to encourage people to want to come to Germany to study and work, right? These are ways to make it easier for people to have legal stays in Germany. Also, now let's get into the job seekers. So if you are looking for a job and you are outside Germany, you can come to Germany without even having a job. You can come to Germany to study the language. You can come to Germany with, um, with, with without having a job prospects. And that is different from the worker's visa or it's like an upgrade from the worker's visa. If you actually found a job here and you are coming to Germany to work on for this job, if you are coming to Germany to start work at this company in Germany, you, they have this new thing called the Schonsenkarte, and it's also similar to the Canadian um, point system. Now, depending on whether you meet the criteria, which are German and English language proficiency, your ties to Germany, your age and the age of your spouse. Come to Germany and work up to 20 hours a week in a different field as well. And these, this job is also going to be paying your social security contribution. So being Krankenversicherung and your Rentenversicherung. Your work experience or your degree or your education that fits that job that you're going to do. So these are the criteria that you should look out for and you should start preparing. Also, you can do a two-week Probearbeit, that is a trial employment. You are allowed to come here and do that as well to see if you fit the role or if you actually like working in that role or not. 
Now that we have covered the different groups that benefit from this law, you ask yourself, what should I do? How do I prepare? I've talked about language proficiency. I've talked about recognition of your vocational skill or your vocational training. I've talked about your degree and all of that. So if you have an university degree, you can start looking for the job and also start learning German to make your point higher, right? So the more points you have, the better your chances. So if a person who has the B1 is going to get one point and make sure that you are, you can study as high as B1. And now we are in what, July? The, the law is going to come in if it's going to come into effect in March 2024. So you have ample time to at least get to A2 or possibly even B1, depending on your speed. Also, you can also start working on the recognition of your skill or vocational training in your home country, because now that is the only requirement you need when it comes to recognition. Your home country should recognize that vocational skill. Also, we have talked about the job, we have talked about we have talked about the language, we have talked about um university degree. I also want to tell you you can also start looking for the job. Look for the job. We can find them on these websites. Go out there and I wish you all the best of luck. If you need help gathering your documents, if you need help understanding something, I'm your girl, I'm your plug www.thefidiway.de or at info at See you on the next one. Bye.